All right, everyone, and welcome to the show. Welcome to the Make Code from Minecraft show. I am, yeah. Um, we're going to be coding in Minecraft using Make Code today, and we're in Minecraft Education Edition. But if you want to uh, do this in Windows 10, check out our video on how to use the code connection. My assistant is not there today, so it'll be me. Ellie, I'm a member of the Mako team, and today I thought I would build a clipboard. Um, what is a clipboard? Just an easy way to copy paste stuff in Minecraft. Uh, we'll have fun with that. Probably doing it in blocks, and we'll go into something more advanced later on. All right, so we're gonna create a new. Um, let's see. I'm gonna create a new world. I'm gonna use a regular world. Creative. Creative. I want to have coordinates. It's going to be useful always day. Ah, perfect weather. It's better for the stream. All right. So let's create a new world. I want a regular world because uh, I want cool stuff to copy paste around. Um, now here's the strategy. We're going to do a chat command that is called copy and when this happens, the user has to uh, go on both corners of a structure and clone the structure. Not, not now, later. Can I do uh, later on, let's talk about it. All right. My assistant, another assistant coming in. All right, let's go and see something we want to copy. Well, we could go around the tree. Let's see. We'll make we'll make this copy paste more involved later on. All right, so how do we do copy paste in Minecraft? Well, there is a command here: clone. Give it two location and then where you want it, and it's going to clone it. So we can use that. That's our building block to create a copy paste clipboard. We're just going to record two locations. And then uh, whenever you say paste, we're just going to copy it wherever you are, which is really cool. All right. So we have to first do uh, the part where we record the two locations. So I'm going to go into, I'm going to press C. And go into code here. All right. Blop, blop. We're in Cold Builder, and I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call that Clipboard. Yeah, Clipboard. Copy pasting. That sounds great. Build something cool and then uh, use that. Okay, so first command is copy. And what we do in copy is that we are recording two locations. I'm gonna say, uh, so these are the two corners. Uh, I'm gonna boringly call them corner zero and corner one. Okay, so corner zero is going to be the current player position. Bip, 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 bip. Player world position. You need, you wanna store the world position, otherwise as you move, you will lose that. Uh, and then at that point, we need to tell the user, you know, move to the other corner. So I can use the chat. But I can also use title, which is kind of more in your face. Show title. So show title. Self. And the same move. Copy. I'm going to call that copy second string is going to be move to the other corner and yeah it's a bit long but <clears throat> that's the that's the idea the simplest way to do it is just you know assume the user can do it in let's say five seconds so we're gonna wait for five seconds Store the second corner. Oh, the corner zero, corner one. <clears throat> and we got two points. 
and we're gonna give him a happy message copied yay paste all right see what this works so um i'm here well, i want to copy this tree i go here maybe five seconds is too hard let me say copy oh, move to the other corner yes 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 i'm moving it i'm moving i'm moving give me time copied <coughs> Oh, no message about the chat. Okay. All right. So that's great. Although it didn't like Prime Me, it didn't like this character. Okay. Now, this was very stressful because I don't know when the user is <clears throat> when the user is done. Kind of figure out. Let's try to figure out how to do that. Oh. Wait, I've been ignoring the chat. Uh, I think I fixed it. All right, you're right. It should be corner one. Okay, um, that's good. Why am I not seeing the chat? There we go. There it goes in the chat. Okay, uh, so I don't like the fact that I'm using time. I think that's that's not great. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna track the user position and I'm gonna check whether, I'm gonna check until it doesn't change. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna create a function. That's called uh, wait, pause, I'm gonna say pause until how do we say not moving not moving pause until not moving and the whole purpose of this function is to detect that the user is just not moving so i can put that here it's going to be a better experience that this pause now how do i do that uh what i'm doing is i'm um creating a variable that's called last position and uh, what I'm going to do is do a loop. I'm going to do a loop here. That. What loops do we have? For loop, while loop. All right. And uh, I'm going to create a position. So I have my player position here. Okay, so I. I'm not going to initialize it to that. I'm going to initialize it to zero, zero, zero. And then I'm going to check that. I need to check that. I'm basically, while I'm still at the same position, while I'm not at the same position, I want to keep going. So while this position is not equal to this position, I want to keep going. Okay, so I don't have a return statements here. So... We're gonna to have to write a big, big, big expression. It's gonna be fun. Uh, but let's do that. And uh, in the loop, we're just uh, gonna wait maybe half a second. So the user has to kind of be maybe a second. The user will have to be still for a second. Um, do we have an operator to compare positions? And we don't seem to have one. However, we have a two string. So we can use that. That's very handy. Because what we can do is we can say, yeah, resting. I'll keep not moving for now, but yeah, rest would be a good one. Uh, we're gonna say that while the last position, you are in a full screen here. While the last position is not equal to the player position, uh, basically pause and then oh, we need to do a two string again because I need to compare strings to strings. 
Uh, okay, so while the last position converted to a string is not equals to the player world position converted to a string, pause and then sign it. So here we're going to sign it to the player position. Player world position. Then wait a second. Then we're going to test again. For the first time, we basically put a kind of random value, a value that you're most likely not, you're not there. Uh, in fact, we could do something more robust. We could say it's the player position plus one. Then we don't know, we know they're not the same. It's better. So the first time we convert this to the player position, they're not equal. We store the player position, wait a second, then test again. Now, hopefully this will work. That means when I do my copy paste, I go up my tree here and I say, say, T copy, copy. And now I need to move to the other corner. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So clearly, clearly. Hey, it worked. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, I got my clipboard. And now I want to paste this. And I have to write the paste code. Okay. So uh, for pasting, we're going to, we're going to use a uh, item. A shovel and uh, is there a clone so yeah so it was clone search for clone clone there we go so clone is going to be between first corner and whoops the other corner now it's from to into my position is zero 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 place normal all this stuff is okay good to go so uh, i'm gonna equip this with a shovel that's gonna be an item it's gonna be metal shovel iron shovel uh, then i copy something Let's go ahead and copy that. Tree. Tree. Uh, tree, 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 tree. So, copy. Side. Position. Where you want it. Oh, wait. Don't move. Copy. All right. And now if I swing this. How do I swing this? Be not using the wrong. Am I not swinging it? Or is it the wrong? Oh. I run travel. Let me add some debug here. Pasting structure. All right, so I want to see where things are at. So I'm going to say, do, 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 do. I'm going to go in text and join. I'm going to say pasting corner zero to corner one. Yeah, I'm not swinging it. Oh, I need to redo the copying, the copy pasting. That's getting annoying. Definitely need a way to store these. Remember that. All right, let's go again. T copy. Oh, move. Position. 
and don't move. Okay, uh, and then swing. Oh, it is. Did nothing. Oh, well, there goes a tree. Huh. Here we go. Tree, copy paster. Let's go. Copy paste any part of the world. Ooh. Yeah, that that debugger message is getting annoying, but yeah. Ooh, not too bad. Any way to show a bounding box while you're moving during the copy command to set a second location? Yeah, um, that would be a great suggestion. Um, let's see what we can do about that. I'm gonna go back in the code. We want to show a bounding box, which we can do. It's it is going to be a bit more work because um, I'm basically going to have to place blocks and destroy them all the time. Let's talk about actually placing a block where we, where we have the first block. It could, could be uh, an easy one. Uh, uh, just for your kicks of it, I'm going to put something in glass. But you know it's doable. So uh, we're gonna put some stained glass uh, exactly here, exactly at this location. You know I'm I'm gonna rename these. It's gonna be from corner and to corner. And the reason I do that is so that it matches my floating thing. Uh, but yeah, so <clears throat> we want to, we really want to show a cube. Okay, let's do that. Uh, so that's going to be in the pause. Right, I have a function already. That's very perfect. Um, so I'm before I'm redrawing this. Well, no, I, I need to draw my, I'm going to draw a, I'm going to fill and I think Phil has a Special option that is perfect for this job. It's just gonna um, destroy everything, but you know, we'll we'll see about undestroying things. Uh, and that's gonna be between uh, from corner and the last position. And I'm gonna do let's try outline. Outline might. All right, let's see if this is a total dis total disaster or not. And I'm moving, I'm moving out. Yeah, it's kind of a disaster because now I have glass everywhere. But it looks good. And I see, and also it draw too much because I don't want these things. Maybe I need to use something different. Maybe I need to use, well, I guess all of these are gonna create the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna draw four dots. At the four corners. They're in the room, whoops, more assistant. More assistant. Uh, hi, Janie. What are we making today? Uh, great question. Uh, we're making a clipboard app. Um, so here's the code. Uh, by the way, if you want to uh, copy paste part of the world, and we're using under the hood the clone options. And you know, once we have something in the clipboard, but right now we're kind of. I'm going to share this version because I want to want to destroy it. So that's going to be the clipboard version. And I'm going to put that in. But we were trying to do something more fancy while you're copying to show where the bounding box is. And to do that, we have to, well, unfortunately, we have to start modifying the world. Oh, you know what? I have a trick. 
maybe what we could do is place the agent. Now let's do it. Do it the hard way. Uh, we're just gonna have to draw lines. A way to draw a line. Yeah, we have to draw a line. So we want to draw the whole more things in shapes. I think these are only two D shapes. Uh, I need to draw one, two, three, four, a whole bunch of lines. Yeah. No, let's not do lines. That's gonna be way too much. We're gonna place blocks. So we're gonna place glass block at uh first location then we're gonna push the glass block guess where I am well that's a bit silly no we're not gonna do that we're gonna do this we're gonna go uh, okay so interesting so I need to go 3d between all the sides of my let's see if I can get a camera here all right so if uh, I need to go west and east of my locations. Now I need to figure out which part, which value to use here. So here I'm going to use seven positions. I have plus. Plus is not really what I want, but I can access individual values. So I'm going to get... I guess I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a position, world position, which has the uh, east-west value of the from corner, which has the z value of the from corner, but which has the y value of the last position so that's going to be the block above the first corner I need somewhere to test this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a test test chat command and instead of having to go through copy paste every time i'm just going to call this time and I'm going to set the variable from position from corner to my current position so I'm just gonna <clears throat> oh well actually there's a simpler way to do it. I'm gonna call my command yeah I'm gonna call copy which okay which is really useless all right so let's just run copy Okay, so as I'm moving around, it is creating these blocks. If I move, this is good. Problem is I need to also erase them. Uh, that's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna, um, gonna remember, I'm gonna store that in a, I'm gonna remember the block put it back, put a new one on every step. I'm going to create Yeah, it's going to be a lot of variables. So I'm going to create an array. And I'm going to call those the list and it's going to be an array of positions. So like that. That's not what I wanted. Okay, let's do it with one. I need to bring arrays now. So what I wanna do is I wanna keep track of the blocks I create and then I wanna destroy them, put the old block instead and then put a new block so that I'm not destroying the structure. I'm kind of restoring and reconstructing as I'm going. Um, Let's do that for uh, this particular one. So by the way, so this would be, here would wanna be, um, for example, from corner on the X side. So here would be last position and then we'd get one more for Z position. 
and then we need three more blocks and you can see why i'm going to want an array here because the whole but it's a whole lot of uh copy paste so we want to be this and this i need to go through all the combination uh and this and kind of going randomly here um yeah all right let's see if that works oops okay so t copy and i move So there's one, two, oops. Oh yeah, the blocks are there. Kind of all of them. So I, maybe I missed up some of those. All right, I did the copy paste. Let's see. From corner, then we got one above, the left, to the north. We go opposite. We go the other opposite. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I need eight dots, so I'm missing one. Plus the last one, which would be last position, but the one that one. So I'm gonna go in corner and I kinda wanna go through all the permutations. Now if I run this see it created all the blocks and it also destroyed my world which is really what i didn't want to happen but at least i can see what i'm copying so that's great because now we can start to do um do some nice um array stuff so i'm going to create an array of all the blocks that i've messed up with and for now, I need to tell Miku that it's an array of blocks. Mm. See, that's this whole bunch of code that I don't want. Okay, so instead, oh, somewhere, hiding in my copied block. Oh, yeah, there we go. So I start with an array that only has from corner. Sounds, sounds fair. The only one I know about. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through the array and fix up things. Go through the array and fix them. And then I'm going to go through the array and populate it. So that's the fixing part. We'll we'll get there. And then since I already have the copy population part, I'm going to do that. So then, once everything's fixed, I clear the array. And uh, how do I do that? Um, and just create a new array, for example. And then I can add all these things to the array. So I can do add add value to it. This one goes here, yay. One goes here. Yeah, I don't need you. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Yeah, let me add. Again, I could do two for loops. This would be more efficient, but oh, I'll do it like this. Uh -huh. Not sure how, how much work this is going to be in blocks. All right, so. You, things get easier if you, if you try to do this in JavaScript, but, okay, so I've got my arrays of, and I lost one, oops. Let's fix it. Uh, which one am I missing? Ah, uh, this one, this one is okay, this one is okay, two, two, and I think I'm missing, oh, 
missing something like this, the first two. All right. So I've got an array, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the array. I'm going to go through the array with this beautiful four element. No, no, don't wait. And I need a second array, which is going to be my array of block IDs. Create a new, new variable. Um, uh, whoops. Where is it? Create a new list here, and we're going to rename it to my block IDs. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, Janie, this is the make code. This is the prime use for our code. Obviously this is a more advanced stream today. Um, slightly more advanced, but yeah, we use make code and you typically use the agent at that point here. What I'm going to do is, oh. Oh, that's not going to work. I can't query the state of the world. All right, scratch that. That technique was really not good. <laughs> I can't scratch. The, we're going to have to figure out how to do this some, somehow differently. I'm going to button smash the undo and see how far I can go back. Undoing, undoing. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to do a separate strategy. So yeah, so the bounding box is somehow difficult because I would have to test for block. What I can do, I can do something else. Something else. Okay, so we're back to our clipboard here, which is probably where I should have stopped. Uh, and, you know, sometimes try something and you fail and you go back to a different program and you try again. Um, so yeah, so let's see if I can clone uh, this this beautiful this beautiful copy. Okay, the way this works is you move to the other side of the cube you want to clone. So I'm gonna go here. Wait for waterfall. We're gonna clone it. Yeah. So I got the waterfall, and then I want to put some water. I know maybe I'm gonna be too big oh yeah yeah i got a waterfall Let's see you can have the waterfall on the other side one water hey i got a water yeah i got cloned let's go in the desert so that's definitely working and again it's just using clone under the hood oh we can put a waterfall here waterfall there we go Beautiful waterfall instantly cloned. Very nice. Yeah, so any kind of preview is going to be tricky um, for sure. Um, one way we could solve this would be to um, to clone the area where clone the area we're looking at somewhere on the ground that nobody knows about, modify it as much as we want, and restore it after that. So kind of do all kind of cloning, cloning, cloning. Uh, so that would be one way. I'm going to just skip that part and, and stay here. So if you look at the chat, you can see the initial version of the, of the clipboard. And that was built in blocks. In make code, you can see here the the code used for that. So we've got our little UI here where the user uh, does a copy and then uh, kind of grabs the, the view and does a clone. And I think what we'll do tomorrow is we'll see about building a library of things. So what I want to do is being able to create a, a big city using existing structures. So maybe copy different things like house one, house two, and then start pasting them um, in many different places. So we'll, uh, we'll keep going about doing this clipboard 
uh, in the next show. All right. So this is all for today. Um, was a fun one, and then we'll probably turn that into a tutorial. This is a pretty funny little application. So we'll uh, we'll turn this into a tutorial so that you can also do that from home. All right. Uh, thanks you for uh, tuning in. We got more shows coming in today. We got arcade. Um, beginner and arcade advance coming up. All right.